This is your LMAX Exchange technical update for Monday, August 8th, 2016. Euro dollar. So the euro remains pressure to the downside after once again stalling to the top side, this time by the 100 day moving average. And this latest breakdown exposes next key support at 109.12, that low from the 24th of June. At this point, rally should be well capped with only a break back above that 100 day moving average, which comes in around that recent high that we saw around 12.34, would negate the outlook. Sterling dollar. So cable has broken down through some key internal range support here, and the break below the 130.55 area exposes a potential retest, an immediate retest of that plus 30 year low that we saw several days back, going back to early July. At this point, a break back above 33.72 would be would be required to take the immediate pressure off the downside. Dollar yen. So dollar yen remains pressure to the downside with the market confined to a very well defined downtrend. And if we do see any corrections, they should be limited to the 104 area in favor of a lower top ahead of the next major downside extension towards and eventually below that recent 2016 and multi month low at 98.99. Euro Swiss. Euro Swiss continues to chop around with the highs and lows roughly defined by 108 to the, to the downside and 110 to the top side, and a break below 108 or back above 110 will be required for clear directional insight. Aussie dollar. So Aussie has rallied up in recent trade back above 76, but as you can see here, rallies above 76 have been very well capped, and once again, the market could be poised to stall out in favor of a fresh downside extension. Ultimately, though, we would need to see a break back below 74.21 to accelerate declines and strengthen the bearish outlook. A break back above 76.77, a close above 76.77 would negate and put the pressure back on the top side towards a retest of the 2016 peak at 78.35. Dollar CAD. So Dollar CAD remains constructive now after breaking above the other week 3189, some key resistance. This confirms a base and exposes a fresh upside extension towards the 135 to 140 area further up. At this point, look for any setbacks to be very well supported ahead of 2862, which is now a fresh higher low. Kiwi dollar. So Kiwi rallies continue to stall out above 72, with the market putting in a 2016 high at 73.25, and this latest rally stalling out well ahead of that 73.25 high, again above 72, ahead of this latest downside. At this point, look for an acceleration of declines, but a break back below 69.52 would be required, that's the low going back to the 21st of July, to really strengthen the outlook and accelerate declines towards next key medium term support at 66.75. SPX 500. The S&P 500 continues to trade just off record highs and the market could be poised now for fresh upside towards key psychological barriers at 2200. At this point, the market is looking a little bit stretched, but again, we could still see upside towards 2200 before we see any exhaustion and a topside failure. We would need to see a break back below and a close below 2150 for the market to, to take the immediate pressure off the top side and suggest that there is a potential top in play. So again, a break back below 2150, a close below 2150 on a daily basis would be required to take the immediate pressure off the top side. Otherwise, we're still looking at record highs again towards next key barriers at 2200. Gold. So gold has been pulling back in recent trade, but ultimately the market has been very well supported into 1300 and is highly constructive since basing out earlier in 2015. At this point, the market should look to put in a higher low above 1300 and have the next major upside extension beyond the 2016 high around 1375 and through 1400 further up. Only a close back below 1300 would compromise or delay the bullish outlook.